हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम योर फ्रेंड चेतन भोला एंड यू आर वाचिंग भोला मोटो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द कंपैरिजन बिटवीन एयर कूल इंजन एंड लिक्विड कूल इंजन द वीडियो इज नॉट ओनली बट द कंपैरिजन यू विल बी गेटिंग टू नो एवरीथिंग अबाउट एयर कूल इंजन एंड द लिक्विड कूल इंजन सो प्लीज कीप वाचिंग दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट राइट नाउ एंड व्हाट एल्स यू कैन डू इज यू कैन शेयर दिस वीडियो प्लीज so first of all starting with the air cooled engine previously uh, when the air when the liquid cooled was not uh, introduced the engines are used to be cooled by passing the air through them and when the air comes in contact with the engine uh, it rejects the heat from there but the uh, but the key point is that they use some fins fins is the extruded uh, extruded part of that engine uh, extruded plate like structure uh, these extruded plates rejects the heat because it increases the surface area of that area Uh, as the surface area increases the more will be the contact area of the air as the contact area of air increases the more of the uh, convection can takes place from that surface only so that's why the fins are used and uh, this is how the, a single cylinder air cooled engine looks like uh, this is the engine and uh, these are the fins outside uh, when the air uh, when the air cooled air is uh, passed through this these fins when it comes in contact with these plates it comes in convection it, it it the process takes place is the convection process the heat is transferring from the material to the air directly and then this air is getting hotter and uh, from the other side you can uh, feel the hot air coming out so this is how this uh, whole thing uh, occurs uh, on on the other hand uh, when the liquid cool uh, liquid cooling is introduced uh what is going to be done is like this is the diagram of it and uh, this these are the cylinder walls this is the cylinder uh, this is the engine head these are the cylinder walls and uh, this blue th this blue thing is the cavity inside this uh, this cylinder wall the cavity uh, is provided so that the water can flow inside these cavities when the water is allowed to flow in these cavities uh the heat is generated in the inside the cylinder and uh, it is conducted outside uh, through this uh, wall and uh, since uh, there is water inside this so the heat is conducted from water to uh, from from this material of the, of the cylinder to the water and uh, this water is storing this heat and after some time the water is taken out from this place and uh, the heat is ejected out outside so this is how this uh, process takes place what is happening inside it the heat is generated the heat is con converted to this water and when this water get heated it is get pumped from this point to the uh, to the radiator and this is the hose pipe which is con uh, which is connecting this uh, uh, cavity to this radiator and the hot water is uh, there in the upper chamber of this uh, radiator the, and then this this water falls from these pipes and comes down to this lower container small these are very small containers and uh, these are the fins the fins are again introduced here so as to increase the re uh, heat rejection uh you you might have easily seen the uh, aluminum plates uh in the radiator that uh, children used to push and uh, destruct and uh, when the when, uh, there is a fan also uh, when the car moves in the in, in the forward direction the air comes enters inside this and when this air passes through this the air gets heated up and uh, rejected the heat from here so in this process the uh, the heat is con con conducted from uh, this material to this uh, uh, water uh, when this water get heated then the this water is conduct uh, convecting it heats its heat to this fin and then again this heat is convected to the air so in this way this whole heat rejection takes place and again from the lower container the cold water is taken by this pump and then again feed inside this uh, in, inside this engine previously uh, the the fan was used and the pump was used uh, from a same pulley and this pulley is getting the drive from the uh, crankshaft directly but but nowadays as it it develops uh, it, it 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 is felt that the fan is not required all the time at the initial stages of the engineering uh, the coolant is at lower temperature so there is no requirement of the fan so that's why there is a sensor used uh, which 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 is used to uh, sense the temperature of the coolant and uh, when the coolant temperature re reaches above a certain level then only the fan turns on so this fan is now driven by a separate motor and also this uh, pump is driven always by the crankshaft till now 
So this uh, uh, this pump is going to get the drive from the crankshaft. This uh, fan is going to get the drive by the electric motor. So this is how both of these system works. Now coming to the advantages and disadvantages of these two systems. First of all, talking about the air cool engine, the advantages are this is the lighter. Uh, this is a lighter engine because it doesn't have it doesn't require any coolant any 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 radiator any pump so that's why it is quite lighter but on the other hand this water cool engine are heavier because of uh, radiator fan and uh, pump the workable it is workable in extreme climate also because if it is too much cold outside and uh, the water is uh, the temperature is below the freezing point of the water or liquid which is used in the uh, in the liquid cool engine uh, the water can freeze in these but uh, in this case the water is there is no water so there, uh, there is no chance of freezing of that water the maintenance of this system this air cool engine is very much easier because you don't need to maintain anything you just need to wash the fins uh, so that the hydration can be better the other thing is it warms up very easily because the uh, heat rejection in this case of the engine is very slow uh, in this case of cooling is very slow so that's why the warm-up is quite easier of that engine but on this side uh, the warm-up is quite difficult because uh, the uh, uh, the the water absorbs a lot of heat energy so that's why it is quite difficult to do it here the maintenance of this uh, engine is quite difficult because uh, there are so many other things you need to maintain the radiator you need to maintain the coolant level the sensors the fan the pump there are a lot of things needed to be maintained another thing is that uh, um, now coming uh, so now coming to the advantages of this uh, water cool engine is that it has a better heat rejection at higher temperatures it can reject uh, the heat in much better way than that of the air cooled engine and uh, especially if the engine is larger then the heat rejection is very much efficient in water cooled engine or liquid cooled engine and the advantage is that the cooling is e evenly uh, distributed all over the engine because the water jacket is all around the engine on the other hand if you see this uh, what air cool the cool air is coming from that side this uh, is rejecting the heat from this side but while coming to this side of this engine the heat, the air is already hot so it is quite not able to reject that much amount of the heat from here also so that's why the engine is cooled more from this side but less less from this side but on the other hand the water is evenly separated evenly uh, distributed all all around the engine so that's why the heat rejection will be even all around it is quite less noisy than that of this uh, these uh, these engines because uh, it has water inside it and water act as a sound absorber in these engines but uh, on the other hand this air cool engines have uh, fins and if the fin fins are quite uh, quite longer or larger then uh, 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 these fins may also vibrate and create some noise so that's why it is quite noisy but the disadvantages of both of these are are like it is it is having uneven cooling i have explained these its disadvantages already coming to its disadvantages are like it it requires power to run the fan power to run the pump so that's why it it, it is absorbing a lot of power the coolant is required and uh, which is costly and other thing is it require a costly equipment like radiator fan pump sensors so it is quite costlier process so i hope you got to learn something about air cooling and water cooling if you still have any doubts and any queries you can please feel free to ask me in the comment section below if you uh, if you feel like this video is worth it so please share this video to your friends so that they can also compare both of these engines so they can they, so that they can also understand what these uh, what these things are and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe it right now because i am making two videos in a week regularly so please keep watching keep sharing and keep supporting guys thanks a lot